By the end of the week, we will know who is going to be on the ballot for the upcoming midterm elections. News 9's Storm Jones has what to expect with the Secretary State Election Secretary. Yeah, beginning Wednesday, hundreds of candidates from all across the state will converge on the Capitol, officially throwing their hats into the ring for public office. You're not really a candidate until you have filed the paperwork. From U.S. Senate and Governor to State House and District Attorney, would-be candidates have until close of business Friday to file their official campaign paperwork. Typically in a gubernatorial year, we will have around 600 or so, maybe just under that. Um, back in 2018, during some of the teacher demonstrations, we set a modern record of nearly 800. Uh, I, I expect that this year we'll be closer to that historical average of, you know, around 600. Any contest of candidacy must be filed by next Tuesday and will be sorted out the following week. A candidate can contest the qualifications of another candidate and then the state election board actually meets as a, as a quasi judiciary proceeding. They hear evidence. Election Secretary Paul Zierich says this is the first normal campaign filing they've had in six years with the drama of who's in and who's out playing out in person. 2020, we were dealing with, with COVID-19, uh, the, the state capitol building two years ago was actually shut down. It was not open to the public, so we had to set up uh, some tents out in the capitol parking lot. Once candidate filing is sorted out, overseas and armed services ballots will begin being distributed, all leading up to the primary election June 28th and the general election Tuesday, November 8th. If you're not registered to vote, you got plenty of time, get registered, make sure you vote in that uh, June 28th primary. At the state Capital, I'm Oklahoma's own Storm Jones.